Hello, this is FileArc. I'm going to show you a Ranger Trap build. Uh, it focuses on condition damage. This can be used in PvE. Uh, you can modify it for World vs. World. As you can see, I just pulled uh, four Orions, a chicken, and a Risen Hand, and put them down very effectively. Okay, so for gear, I'm using Carrion which is power, vitality, and condition damage. Um, the trinkets I have are the same, carrion, power, vitality, condition damage. Um, you can mix things up a little bit. This one has power and toughness, but uh, condition damage is mostly what you want to go for. My back piece isn't uh, perfect, but there's a little toughness and vitality in there. Everything else is just uh, power, vitality, condition damage. Condition damage is what your main stat that's going to do the most damage. My weapon is power, vitality, condition damage. So is my axe and torch. Alright, so let's look at runes. Um, there are a couple different ways you can go. You can go with uh, six runes of the undead which will give you lots of extra condition damage give you some extra toughness these actually work better if you're using um, precision toughness condition damage gear um, and that's the kind of gear you can get that from uh, dungeon tokens or karma merchants um, that gear will work as well but I kind of like some of the power because that will give me some uh, needed burst damage. Uh, Rangers are kind of weak with their burst damage anyway. But um, either either sets of gear, carrion or that will work. So you can totally just go with six of these with all that extra toughness. Plus five percent of uh, toughness becomes condition damage. So that works. There's another way you can do it. You can get two runes of the crate which gives you condition damage plus 15 bleed duration two runes of the centaur which gives you another 15 percent bleed duration so we've got an extra 30 percent bleed duration which is very nice so look at my entangle this does massive damage massive bleeding damage and that extra bleed duration is nice but um, and then for my last two slots, I'd probably use uh, Coral Orbs. Uh, just get some condition damage and power. But um, it's kind of a trade-off getting the extra bleeding duration. Or just going for the extra condition damage. The extra condition damage will work with all of, with all of your conditions. Whereas the extra bleeding duration is just using uh, increasing your bleed duration. So, so looking at my traits, you can see. Let's just look at our our increase to the base stats here, which is very nice. I got an extra 200 power, extra 20% condition duration, uh, increased precision, crit damage, toughness condition damage and we don't really care about these stats down here that much but these skills are very nice you gain regeneration when your health reaches 75 you and your pet gain two seconds of quickness when you swap pets so if you're constantly managing your pet and swapping uh, that gives you a nice increase of damage there so right here your survival skills recharge 20 percent faster that's very nice for this uh, entangle skill which is a a massive skill it's nice to get that to recharge faster um, we have a chance to ca cause bleeding on crits trap skills use ground targeting and are 50 percent larger which is very nice so uh, with that added size you can get lots more uh, people in the the radius of it Condition caused by traps last twice as long, and traps recharge 20% faster. So that's a very big one. Um, these will recharge so fast that you're not really going to be waiting. You'll once you end a fight, you're ready to go on the next one because these three will be recharged. 
uh, gain fury and might when your pet's health reaches 50%. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. Um, sharpening stone when your health reaches 75%. If we go down here and find sharpening stone, it bleeds foes with your next five attacks. So that's a nice way to add bleeds. If you're taking some damage, you're going to throw on some, some extra bleeds there. So you can bring in whatever pet you like. Um, I kind of like to have a, a tanky pet. It's just kind of handy. Um, but this, this pet will poison. Canines are nice because they do crowd control. For world versus world, uh, canines are nice. This one will chill. So okay. let's go ahead and show you the rotation here. We'll go get a bunch of people angry at us. All right. So we're gonna drop all the traps. Seven, eight, nine. We'll go ahead and hit zero. I missed a couple of them there. The uh, staff does some nice burning. If you pop your your uh, healing spring and then shoot through it, you're gonna be giving yourself regeneration. Go ahead and switch to your bow if you like. And finish them off. So notice that my bow does poisoning, it does bleeding. So if you're just auto attacking a single target, it's going to stack up some really good bleeds there. Um, there's bleeding and cripple. You also have some days here if you want to, if you're on a boss or something and you need to control them a little bit. Uh, you can see that my axe, um, it does uh, AOE damage. But um, we've got bleeding, chilled, and then the sta the torch is very nice. It there it'll throw down eight burning, which do does some pretty decent damage. And then there's some more burning right there. So I'm going to mention a few things here. Um, if you're doing world versus world, this works pretty well. Um, but living is a little more of an issue, so. You can also do this with Apothecary's Gear, which is uh, precision, healing power, and condition damage. With that added healing power, you can use trade into some things like this one, very powerful, where you get that regeneration. I mean, it'll, it'll keep you alive. Very nice. Um, also, in World vs. World, you're going to want to pick one of these traps and probably want to get some uh, a swiftness going there keep you uh, keep you moving around faster